video I'm going to show you a few of the Google Sheets tips and tricks when it comes to managing your planner. So these uh, questions are ones that I've been asked quite a lot in terms of when I'm creating my planners, how do they work, how can I get them to sort of function a little bit better. So these might help you decide if Google Sheets is the right app for you for your planning. So this is a planner which I have created and I have for sale on my website. And the first main question is, how do I use it for each of my week? So these ones here, what it comes with are sort of like your master templates. So what you can do is you can rename these to uh, represent whatever you would like. You could have um, these say here, you might rename it to say master, and then you know that that's like your master week plan. And so people will ask me, they say, Jordan, how do you use this for each week? So what you would do is you would have your master template made. So this one here has examples in it, so I can easily just delete off the information that I don't need. And then I would come down to the tab here, I would right click, I would click duplicate, and then I would rename that to whichever name I would like. So like week one weekly. So then I know that this one here is my master. This one here is my week. So then if I want my maths planner for the week, I would duplicate that and I would write um, week one maths and so on and so forth so that I'm creating different uh, tabs for my week planning, but they are all within one sheet here so it's all housed within one google sheet but i'm creating the different tabs here and so then this master one here i might not want that there each week so i'm going to hide that so you can hide any of the sheets that you don't want to see um so say you might not want this organization tab for a little while you can hide that i don't want long-term plans at the moment um don't want this one either um i need to create my week one reading so i don't need this one now and then i've got my oh i hit the wrong one i've got my plans for a week one so I can see week one week maths writing reading so they're all there and so then if I decide cool it's now week two I can either duplicate this one or I can come over here to these all sheets feature and this is the part that people don't know about is that once you hide something you can actually bring it back so I'm going to click on this and it's going to have all of my sheets here the ones that are black those are the ones that you can currently see. The ones that are sort of grayed out are the hidden ones. So I then can bring out my weekly master. I can duplicate that for week two. I can then hide my master again. And then once I'm done with these ones for the week as well, I can actually hide those each week. So you're not deleting any of your planning, you're just hiding it so that your workspace is really clear and easily to see. So you'll see there at the moment, it only says week two weekly. So then same thing, cool, it's ready for week three. I'm gonna come back to here. Uh, I might decide I'm gonna start on a long-term plan. Here we go, there's my term overview. And this one here, perfect. I'm going to duplicate that. Um, this could be for, say, writing. I'm going to hide this one. There we go. So you've got all of your parts that you need for your planner within one place. So the main thing here is the rename. So you can rename, you can duplicate, you can hide, and then you can also bring up all of the other sheets that you've got in your Google Sheets. You can also reorder these as well. So you might want that one at the end. You might want this one first, however you want it to look. And then you can also color code too. So say you might want your weekly plans to be one particular color. So then you might have them ordered that way. So you'll see there's a color underneath. You might want your long-term plans to be uh, purple. So then all of your long-term plans will be colored based on that. So that when you duplicate it now, it also duplicates the color as well so that you've got them all sort of together. Then if I was to hide this, let's just hide this for the moment and I come down to this all sheets, 
you'll see that they're actually tagged with that color now as well so it helps you easily see which ones you've tagged for color how to find them and sort of how to have them all together within your google sheets so i hope these little tips have really helped you sort of see how you can use this for your week and how you can create really easy uh, tips and really easy organizational habits to help you with your Google Sheets planning.